they are the two foremost teams in Spanish football, Real Madrid and Barcelona, and they're getting ready to face each other here at the Bernabeu. My name's Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary is Stuart Robson. Stuart, can't wait for this one. No, nor can I, Derek. They don't come any bigger than this, do they? The two giants of Spanish football. The atmosphere is incredible inside this stadium. Let's hope we see a top-class game as well. And let's dissect the Real Madrid side. Thibaut Courtois is the keeper of choice. Eder Militao plays with Antonio Rudiger in central defence. Jude Bellingham starts alongside Federico Valverde in central midfield. And the main striker today is Kylian Mbappe. And here's the starting 11 for Barcelona. Well, in this 4-5-1 shape, it will be interesting to see how close the wide midfield players get to their main striker. Will they stay wide or play through the inside right and inside left positions? We'll have to wait to see how it develops. And so the battle commences. Rodrigo. Could play it in. But it wasn't a taxing save. Pedri. Danny Olmo. Feeding it through. Oh, he's given it. Penalty. And an opportunity now for them to jump in front. Well, no card, just a warning and a fair few protestations. Well, not every foul is a yellow card. I think the referee is right here. Can he make it 1-0? Goal! Taking aim from the spot and finding the target. Well, as you can see, the keeper makes no effort in the end. He was hoping it would be struck down the middle, but it's an easy finish, really. again with the score line standing at 1-0 Lewandowski looks as though there might be a threat but not so in the end good defending Vinicius and players waiting in the centre. Well, beaten easily here. Missing the target by a tiny margin. Well, it's a difficult skill to get right, but he almost pulled it off there. He made such good contact with the ball. Lewandowski this is Robert Lewandowski Lewandowski just the challenge that was required delightful pass Mbappé and that a piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and again and again Over it comes. An inspirational goalkeeping. Well, that should have been a goal, but what a save that is from the keeper. <laughs> 
playing it short. And a significant block following that cross. Vinicius Jr. And unfortunately for him, he had worked his way into an offside position. And I think everybody in the ground could see that was always going to be offside. Alex Balde, Lewandowski now. Well, not long to go now till we hear the half-time whistle and Real Madrid still trailing. Stewarts, what have you made of their first half? Well, they've not had quite enough purpose to their attacking play so far. It's all been a bit too predictable. But in the second half, if they can get more support to their strikers and play with greater intensity, they can certainly turn this around. And over comes the corner. And a fine stop to turn the ball away. And making sure it wasn't problematic. Vinicius. Well, the electronic board showing one additional minute. Ball played nicely. And Bellingham. Well, the attack carried promise, but petered out. And that is that half-time here in the Spanish capital. Well, there aren't many better finishers in world football than Robert Lewandowski and strong evidence of that here, Stuart. Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the plate. Into the second half then and Barcelona holding advantage but a long way from being settled. Bellingham and making sure there was no danger in the end Mbappe Vinicius Junior and the ruling is offside here well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Lewandowski. Here's Rafinha. And he favours the inside route. Barca maintain possession, advantage. And Lewandowski in the thick of things. And pushed away to safety. So a half an hour remaining. And teammates to play it to. And putting his body on the line. Decides to shoot. Well, good technique in terms of how he struck it. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Vinicius Junior. Mbappe with it. Well, Barcelona have had most of the ball in the last 15 minutes and look like scoring every time they go forward. They do need to extend their lead, though, while they're playing so well. Yes, it might be on for them once more. Now the attack fizzled out. Now the quick counter-attack could be on.
15 minutes left for play. Lewandowski. Lewandowski. Has eyes for goal. Shot blocked, but still alive. And what a magical save it was! Well, both teams have had substitutes swarming up. And now both will rely on their respective benches. Short corner it is. And Lewandowski waiting. And no nonsense defensive clearance. Oh, he's left his marker for dead. In it goes to increase their advantage. And will that be the goal that ends up securing it for them? Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. But there's still plenty to do from here. He hits it so well, though. Lots of pace, lots of power, and the keeper just can't react in time. It's a great strike. So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. Mbappe Kamavinga and the defensive intervention there and that is that very satisfying from the Barca point of view a victory here what did you think of their overall display? Well, Derek, it was a comfortable win in the end. Fully deserved their victory because they dominated every aspect of the game. It was a really good result for them here today. Well, it's understandable that we focus once again on Robert Lewandowski. How would you sum up his performance? Well, he certainly had an impact on the result, not least from 12 yards. He always looked confident, though. You just didn't expect him to miss.